My GE water heater started producing extremely hot water. I fixed it by replacing the thermostats. It was quick and easy. Let me show you how I did it. Tools need to do this. Uh, screwdriver, Phillips, needle nose, um, voltage tester. Okay, so first thing we do is turn the water heater breaker off. And that's right here. Make sure this, this uh, uh, pen tester is working. So, all right, so we know it's working. All right, so then when you pull the cover off, uh, you're gonna have some insulation, just pull that out. And we'll take it over here. And let's just make sure I have no power through here. And I, I don't. All right, let's take this plastic cover off then. Still not gonna needlessly touch any wires here or anything. All right, cool, and there we are. Okay, so on top there you can see the upper thermostat. It also has a breaker built in. And right there is where the adjustment screw is for the temperature of the water. I just replaced both of these, so the upper and the lower thermostat. The upper was about $15 and the bottom one was about $10. Um, they're just held in by small clips and you just undo the wires, take the clips off, and then there's some little magnets on the back. You just kind of pull it away and put the new ones in there. The new ones were available from Home Depot. Uh, they were just right off the shelf. Um, I was able to go in there on a Sunday and pick them up and get this, this whole project wrapped up in about an hour. So I wish I had more uh, video for you, but this project was really easy. Um, just make sure that the power is off and that you can test it with a little voltage uh, tester like I have. And everything just pops off and it's easily replaceable. As a DIYer, I found this project to be really easy. However, if you are uncomfortable around electricity, I would suggest calling a professional. All the tools I used, there will be links down in the description. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.